these misconceptions can lead to poor physical and mental health and even the early demise of the bird. The following are some misconceptions that these people might have and common mistakes that bird owners make. Oops. The first common mistake is people thinking that all birds have the same basic needs. Birds are birds, right? Well, they're not. According to Vet West Animal Hospital's patient education page on bird care, hook billed birds such as the parent family, raptors, cockatoos, cockatiels, they have a beak that literally the top curves over the bottom. Uh, they have really different food needs than soft bill birds like finches, canaries, and other songbirds such as robins. Birds of all kinds need a variety diet and not just bird seed, which is another thing that a lot of people think. You feed a bird seed to bird, that's not how that works. Not if you want a healthy bird. So birds of different levels of intelligence need different levels and type of stimulation. According to David Weatherill, DVM, and avian veterinarian at Kumul Park Animal Hospital, African gray parrots are thought to have the intelligence level of a six to eight year old child. So they need much more human interaction and stimulation that challenges their brains compared to a domesticated finch or canary, which have significantly lower levels of intelligence in comparison. So the next thing is people think that a small enclosure is sufficient for birds. What you see on TV, you got the little bird in the little cage, it looks really cute. According to the Avian <coughs> Welfare Coalition, even small birds, such as finches, need as much space as they can get. So owners should get the largest size cage they can and do research on what kind of enclosure is best for your bird. Another point is birds do not need to go to the vet. According to the Association of Avian Veterinarians, birds need to be brought to the vet once a year for an annual exam, just like cats and dogs. This way you can make sure that your bird is healthy, and if not, you can make the adjustments needed in their medications or diet to help them be a healthier bird. Birds should also be brought to the vet when they show signs of illness and behavioral changes. Taking your bird to the vet can prolong the life of your bird. Birds need to be brought to a vet who has experience with birds, if possible, an avian veterinarian. They've taken extra classes and have passed a board exam on caring for birds. But if not, as they are not strewn all over the country, in rural areas in particular, just a bird, I mean, just a vet with bird experience is fine. Um, another point was birds, people think birds are easy pets to have and are good beginner pets, especially for kids. Um, birds are not easier than having a cat, a dog, a guinea pig, or a rabbit. They have really unique needs that aren't commonly known and they require a lot of attention and stimulation. You can't just put it in a corner and feed it once a day and it'll be fine. Um, they need one-on-one -on -one time with their owners, like quite a bit. Um, without enough attention and stimulation, they can develop mental health and behavioral problems. This can lead to things like screaming, feather plucking, and all sorts of, you know, unwanted behaviors. <clears throat> Small birds are not living decorations and they are not disposable. Just like a hamster, you can't just throw it away when it dies. According to avian veterinarian Lori Hess, DVM, birds can have long lives. Domesticated finches can live anywhere from 5 to 12 years. Domesticated canaries can live 10 years. Doves have a maximum lifespan of 20 to 25 years. And members of the parrot family can live anywhere from 20 to 80 years in captivity. Um, people should keep this in mind when considering a bird because a major misconception is that birds, you know, you don't have to think about your life planning and things when it comes to just having a bird. So in conclusion, many people have a lot of misconceptions about owning a bird and what a bird needs or does not need. These misconceptions can seriously damage a bird's health, physical or mental, and can even lead to the early death of the bird. Some basic education on the needs of all the things of the kind of birds that you're having or interested in before buying or adopting a bird is all that is needed to change their misconceptions and accurately inform the potential owner. I hope this speech gave you a little more education on these things and helped to combat some of the misconceptions you may have had about um, bird ownership. Um, you need to redo your audience because it wasn't on.
Oh, okay. We have to redo the audio.